What's up guys, Barry Gaming here again today with another news update video for next week's events that start tonight. We are going to be getting daily rewards of 150 gems and a super wishing coin. We have Ormus as our reward this week and you can do up to 4 completions as always. We have the Lucky Wishing Fountain returning. Uh, this is the same event as last time except there is no limit to the type of rewards you can get and you don't have to refresh the rewards with gems. If you remember last time it costed 1,000 for your first time, 2,000 for the second. We're not doing that anymore. There is a lucky package that you can purchase. My guess from looking at it will probably be about 20 to $30, but what this package also does is it makes the loot you get from the lucky wishing fountain that we just talked about doubles it. So you get two times the rewards by buying this package. Not a bad deal, especially if you need those resources. In the weekly campaign, we have the packages you can purchase. And as you see here, Ada is in the top one for $100. So more money than it costs in Black Friday, where Black Friday she only cost about 80. This time she's costing 100. Uh, if you need her, grab it. If you feel like spending a little bit, go for it as well. Um, Unimax is in the $70 pack and Ormus is getting a new limited skin, Headmaster of Magic, in the third package. Here's what he looks like in a little, little animation for you guys. It looks a little cool. I don't know how necessary the skin is, but if you like collecting skins, go ahead and grab it. We have Shelter, as we talked about on Tuesday, with Sleepless, Michelle, Shia, Jara, King Barton, and Valkyrie. We also have Blessing of Grey Dwarf starting. So if you need your set pieces, make sure you grab them. Don't forget. But again, you have two weeks to, t to actually claim this. We also have, if you noticed in the thumbnail, a new login screen for the UI for winter time. So we're, we're about ready to change seasons in Idle Heroes. And lastly, they are adding stories of Michelle, Odeo one and Bade for the hero biographies. I'm not that interested in it, but some of you guys might be. I don't know. And lastly, we should have the aura reworks tonight as well. Haven't heard too much news on it, so I'm hoping it's still this week, but you never know. They might change it up, push it. We'll have to see, but hope you guys enjoy this event next week. It's another one of those little slower weeks, but hey, the week after is, is Christmas. That means Heroic Scrolls, everybody's been saving, we finally get to spend them, but in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great one.